Hi, Jordan with Caster Headquarters, and today we're going to talk about compression chair casters, which are self locking chair casters. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove your old chair casters and install the new chair casters and the benefits and features of the compression, also known as self locking casters. What you'll want to do is grip this chair caster and you want to what you want to start pulling. Now, what just happened is very common, and this is a problem that a lot of people run into. When you pull the chair casters out, sometimes the grip ring stem will remain intact. And now a lot of people will worry and, and think that they can't change their chair casters out because now they have a permanently staked stem. Well, that's not the case. What you want to do if this happens is grab some pliers, any kind of pliers will work, and you want to grip that stem and you want to slowly pull it out. Now you can try grabbing it and pulling it straight out or you can try bending it back and forth. Now if that doesn't work, which some, most of the time pliers will work, but if that doesn't work, we're going to get a flat head screwdriver. We're gonna pry it in between the base of the chair right here and the metal. And we're going to kind of turn the screw. Instead of prying, we're gonna stick in the gap and turn the screw. And that should allow this to come out. So we're gonna put this in here. We're going to turn it and now it's coming out. Then at the end, you can pry it. You grab your pliers. Now the grip ring is out. So normally that doesn't happen, but when that happens, you kind of just have to try to pry it out as best you can. You can use pliers and try to wiggle back and forth and pull, or you can use a flat head and you can try to just pry that open. Now that the first caster is officially out, we're going to flip this chair and we're going to continue to pull these casters out. Now, if these stems remain intact, we're just going to have to keep prying them, prying them out of the chair. So we'll flip this. Looks like I'm going to have some pretty bad luck on, on removing these stems. But again, this does happen more common than not. And a lot of people cannot figure out how to remove this stem. And they think this is a part of the base of the chair, when it's really not. Okay, what I did here was, I will show you up close. What I was able to do is leave a gap right here. I was able to pry it with my pliers to leave a gap. It gave me enough room to fit my flat head in there. And now I'm gonna put that in and I'm going to turn it like this. Now look, when I turned it, it came out even more. Now that I turned it like this, I have more leverage to pry it. I'm, I'm holding a camera, so it's pretty difficult. Okay, now, now that it's pried open, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pliers and try to pull these out. Boom, got that one as well. Now we have two of the chair casters out. We're gonna flip this, and I'm pretty sure that these stems are gonna remain stuck in the chair. Yep, that one's stuck too. So, same method. Grab these pliers, wiggle it out as much as you can get it. Now that I have a little gap right here, put my flat head in between it, twist it, and then pry it. Now, it's out even more. I can grab this, I have more leverage. <clears throat> I can pull it out. So now that one's out. Do the same thing here. Pull that one out, of course, that one's stuck, and that one's stuck too. So, same method. Pliers, wiggle it around. <clears throat> kind of just back and forth. You can get your flat head anywhere in between. 
and that's really going to help you pry this out. Oh man, and this is the first time I've actually experienced a stem that has gotten stuck in these chair casters. I hear about this all the time, but it's the first time I've actually experienced this and, and actually changed these out myself when these were stuck. This, okay, I was able to pull it out a little bit, get my flathead, I'm gonna turn it. Now it's pried, open, pried out even more. Ooh, okay, let me get these pliers again now that it's out, put it against the base, just keep pulling. And that one's out. <sighs> okay, now all five of the chair casters are out. So I'm going to show you how to install the compression casters. It's fairly easy. So what you're going to do is just grab the casters and just push the stem into the holes of the base of the chair, basically. And you want the stem to go all the way in where it's flush right here. And I'll show you. that in here and just push oh it's getting hot now what we're gonna do is we're going to just start pushing this caster and see if we can get it in that one's in now be careful when you push these in because if your fingers are anywhere near here that could pinch you um, if you don't want to force yourself and push these in you can get maybe a cloth and wrap it around um, this chair caster and you can kind of hit the base of it like that with the hammer it should push it in also if you can't push them in all the way get them as much as you can installed in there and then if you see a little gap try to sit on the chair very carefully and see if that will press the caster inside of the the base if you're not able to manually push these in so one of them's in, we're gonna go and flip it over, insert the rest. I like to wiggle them around, because there's a grip ring stem. When you wiggle the casters around, that little stem right here will move around and kind of compress, and that'll eventually lock in the groove. And you'll be able to push it in pretty easily. So now we have two of them in. Three of them. You know, I'll turn this chair sideways so maybe you can get a better, better view. Ugh. Okay. Right here. Four. And we have one more to install. All five compression chair casters are in. Now that these are installed, you can see they're all sitting flush. They all rotate. So we're gonna flip this chair back over and I'm going to demonstrate sitting in it to show you how it locks automatically. So now I'm in the office chair and like I said, I cannot move this chair back and forth. So if I sit forward, it's not gonna slide out from underneath me. I can sit backwards, nothing's happening. It stays in place. If you need to release these chair casters or move the chair, simply stand up a little bit, grab the base of the chair, and you can roll it towards you. Wherever you need it to be, it's gonna be parked again and locked, or you can grab the handles, release the pressure, move it around, you're good to go. Hope this video was helpful, and uh, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Whoa. Whoa! Look at that. Chair does, does not move. And that shows you the Caster HQ stands behind the quality of all of our products. Thanks for watching. Thank you.